Hey, what you looking at? It's a book of old maps. Can you believe that people once thought the Earth was flat? How silly was that? It wasn't silly, but it sure showed how much they didn't know. I mean, come on, that was hundreds of years ago. How many people had actually seen the world from space? Uh, none. Exactly. So people used scientific theories, you know, ideas or explanations about what the world was like or how it worked to imagine the world. Based on what? Well, based on their observations and what they knew about the world. And they didn't change their theory until someone came up with evidence that proved them wrong. Like when explorers sailed around the world and didn't fall off? Exactly. Suddenly, there was scientific evidence the world wasn't flat. So they had to change what they believed. Right. That's what the scientific method is all about. Gathering evidence and doing experiments to test theories. To prove they're wrong? Well, to see if the evidence supports each theory. What's most important is that the observations and experiments are accurate. Then if scientists always find evidence that a theory is right, it can become a scientific law. Like Newton's law of gravity. Yep. It's hard to believe, but finding the truth can take hundreds and even thousands of years. Come on. Think about people in ancient times. They thought the sun revolved around the Earth. Yeah, well, they didn't have modern science. Exactly. But they still used the scientific method to try and find out more. Galileo was the first to use the telescope to get a closer look at the sky, and his research gave people new information about space. And did you know that long ago, people believed that diseases were caused by smells? You're kidding. Why? Because when people died, they gave off a horrible smell. Over time, scientific methods help doctors prove that diseases are carried by germs, not stinky smells. Then they were able to make medicines that could kill the germs. Wow, lucky they figured that out. You know it. It's just one example of how the evidence scientists gather can sometimes show that their theories are wrong. In this case, that was good. Right. What scientists learn helps them revise their ideas. Revising theories is one way scientists come up with new inventions and doctors discover the causes and cures for diseases. I guess there's always more to explore. That's just what I mean. You gotta be open to changing your ideas if you get new information or evidence shows you're wrong. Hey, I'm never wrong. Oh, yeah? I bet you think that lightning never strikes twice in the same place. It doesn't. Everyone knows that. What? Can't believe everything you hear, Sam. Turns out scientists have found that lightning strikes the same place lots of times, usually the highest place around. One theory down the drain. No, just changed, because you have more information. Actually, it's kind of cool. Coming up with scientific theories or ideas is a great way to start thinking about the world and how it works. But I'm glad you reminded me that you can't just accept an idea as true. That's why scientists use the scientific method. They do experiments and gather evidence to test their theories. Theories that are always supported by the evidence can become scientific laws, and theories that aren't have to be revised. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to prove my theory. About what? That my head is flat. <laughs>